What's up, Internet? Don here from DonDoes30.com, bringing you another product review. Because one of the questions I normally get pretty consistently is, what do I think the best hacking laptop is? The best system setup, the best, um, you know, for, for just breaking into other systems, right? So, realistically, first of all, it depends on what you want to do and what your budget is. And I'm going to go through three different laptops today. Uh, one, of course, being the low end, then we have a mid range, and then we have the highest end. Ooh, that really gets my blood going. So, um, first of all, these are all laptops that I've tried in the past, or um, I've either worked directly with the companies and other laptops within those uh, models, or I've uh, messed around on the laptop model itself, and I'll point them out, uh, all the different ones out to you. But first of all, we have to check what the minimum system requirements are for any type of system that we want to use. Now, Luckily for you guys, Linux requires very little to run on in terms of hardware and system capabilities. In fact, if you go to the Kali Linux homepage and you go to their hard Linux or um, Kali Linux hard disk install, you could see their minimum re prerequisites are pretty low. 20 gigabytes of disk space. I mean, we have phones now that have at least uh, 32 or 64 gigabytes of space. Uh, one megabyte for memory or, you know, two gig, or excuse me, not megabytes, uh, one gigabyte or two gigabytes or more is usually recommended. And then, uh, you know, CD drive, DVD drive, or USB so we could complete the install. So realistically, even Kali Linux, as powerful as it is for a hacking operating system, requires very little in terms of hardware. So the first one that I want to get into is the lowest range, right? And I'm talking about a laptop that would probably cost about 150 bucks to 250 bucks, right? It's a lower range laptop and this is the HP Stream Notebook. Now I'm going to include links uh, at the bottom in the description so you could check the price anytime you want, but as of today it's only going for 160 bucks plus some free shipping. Now this is a refurbished model so it is limited and not only is it limited, but uh, refurbish basically means that you're getting it used. Now, um, certified refurbish is what you want to look for because then uh, it's up to higher standards uh, when they go ahead and uh, redo this laptop. You know, they'll wipe the hard drive, make sure everything's up to speed before they send it back out. Now, check it out. So this is a really low-end, great deal laptop, in my opinion, for 159 bucks. And I have worked, I've had several, several Hewlett Packard laptops, computers, servers. So HP, Hewlett Packard, they've been around a long time. They're a great company. Um, and look at the battery life. It says up to about uh, almost 11 hours of battery life. Jesus Christ. I don't even get that out of my laptop that I use now. Um, of course, you got the four gigabytes of RAM, which is going to be double of what was recommended on the Cali. And uh, the hard drive is a little small, 32 gigabytes, but again, you, it's a solid state drive. And not only that, you could expand it if you wanted to use uh, jump drives or USB sticks um, to save additional files and things like that. So of course it's expandable. Uh, you know, you could see the USB ports down here and it looks like there might even be an SD card area. And uh, it's a pretty sleek laptop in my opinion. You know, it's uh, white, which usually um, you don't see too many white laptops. It's usually like a gunmetal gray or a black laptop. So in my opinion, for the money, for 160 bucks, even as a throwaway laptop that you might only use for a year or two, I think this is a great deal. And again, the specs are perfect for running Kali Linux on it. Um, Intel Celeron processor, a little bit on the low-end processor side, but uh, we'll still get the job done, especially when combined with a solid state drive, because the solid state drive doesn't have any mechanical parts that you have to worry about slowing it down. Anyway, so that's the low end. Let's move on to the mid-range, which I defined a mid-range laptop about um, 300 to about $750. That's a good mid-range laptop. And I picked the Acer Aspire E15. Now this is going to include a slightly bigger um, monitor for you, LCD, or LCD screen. Check it out, the i5 Intel processor, which is definitely a lot faster then that Celeron, you have double the amount of RAM and uh, quite a bit more hard drive space. Again, another solid state drive. And I like Acers. When they first came out, they were kind of a little shitty, a little clunky, a little plasticky, but they've come a long way in the past, um, 
would say, seven years or so. They've really made a name for themselves in the computer space and check that out up to about 12 hours of battery life, which is pretty awesome. Of course, you never really get that. But uh, yeah, checking out some of the pictures, uh, you get your full HD 1080p or maybe 1080i. Uh, I have to check which one. Um, but also, it's a pretty sleek looking laptop. It definitely covers the recommendations uh, for minimum install for Kali. So it should run pretty flawlessly. It also includes an NVIDIA GeForce 940MX. Now, for password cracking, you could tap into the actual video processor to get you a lot more power behind cracking those hashes. Um, I might make a little bit more of a tutorial about how that works, but just think, if you have a really good video card, you're better off than just using your CPU as a password cracker. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty decent um, video card that's built in. And uh, let's see if there's any other pictures. Ah, a couple of other pictures. Like I said, I really like the way it looks. I definitely like the specs. The price is going to run you about 600 bucks. Again, I'm going to include a link down at the bottom so you could check this because prices change all the time on Amazon. Um, it may go down a little bit lower as it gets older, but uh, I would say for a mid-range $600 laptop, this is going to last you a hell of a lot longer than that lower end range, and it's going to give you a lot more power. Now, finally, the, I guess, uh, in my opinion, one of the best hacking laptops there could be is made by one of my favorite computer companies, Alienware. Now, Alienware used to be a sole company, and I believe Dell bought them out several years ago, so now Dell kind of produces this, but they were always known for a gaming computer, and their laptops are incredible. So check it out. Not only are you getting an additional hard drive, so remember we have the 256 gigabyte hard drive over here on the mid-range, but you're getting an additional terabyte to save all those databases that you're going to be cracking and downloading. You get double the amount of memory compared to the mid-range and four times the amount of memory that you would from the low end. And check this out. That is a great, in my opinion, a great video card that's going to really help with password cracking. Of course, this baby's going to set you back as about $1,700, depending on where you live. Uh, you know, that's quite a bit of money. Um, I know I wouldn't want to spend it on that. Uh, or actually, I would, but, uh, you know, I'd probably get uh, murdered by my wife or something, so I'd only be able to enjoy it very seldomly. Um, the screen is a, a little bigger, 15.6 versus, oh no, about the same size, 15.6. Um, but realistically, what you're going with here is a much higher graphics card, which will help out again with the password cracking. Great memory that uh, is expandable. And uh, you get two hard drives. You get the solid state drive and an additional terabyte for all those scripts, cracking tools, and everything. And let's just check out some of these pictures. I love Alienware and how slick they were with their cases. And yeah, that's looking good. And uh, usually the, uh, the keyboard lights up, so it's a pretty cool spectacle when you, uh, when you have it out and about and you're breaking into a uh, you know, server or Starbucks or whatever. Anyway, so these, again, are my top three picks uh, for a low-end, mid-range, and very high-end hacking laptop. And again, it ranges from 160 bucks to 10 times the price to about 1600 or 1700 bucks. So quite a bit range here for you. Another great site that I do encourage you to watch or go to is distrowatch.com. Now this is a lot, I mean hundreds of different Linux flavors that you could get into and download. Very specific for things that you wanna do. So there's, um, see here, uh, it's just the distribution name. But there's a bunch of different searches that you could do, and you can really get into the specifics of what you want the, um, the operating system for. And of course, the specs are all on here, minimum specs that you could check out and see what, um, what, you, might, what you might match up for your particular laptop. So here's some uh, distribution categories. You got your beginners, education, multimedia, uh, older computers. So that's gonna require very, very minimum specs. But I uh, highly encourage you to check this site out as well to match up a uh, Linux distribution 
to your specs, depending on what you want to do. But again, Cali will run on all three of these. And uh, gosh, I want to order this right now, but I'm not going to be able to. Anyway, again, links are in the description, so you can check these out on your own and get a little bit more detail. And uh, hopefully you order one. If you want to order the low end, again, I uh, could say that this will probably last a couple of years. And um, it's a great bang for your buck for $160. And of course, if you got the means, definitely go with this. And uh, if you don't want to get in trouble with your significant other or a spouse, this will last you several years and has great specs as well. Thanks for watching, and uh, more hacking tutorials in Python. Uh, tutorials coming up soon. See you guys later.